How do sound waves differ from light waves? Waves consist of a series of motions in regular succession carrying energy from one place to another without moving any matter. Periodic waves include ocean waves, sound waves, and electromagnetic waves. Visible light and radio waves are electromagnetic waves. Mechanical waves, such as ocean waves and sound waves, involve matter. But it is important to remember that there is no transport of matter. The water in an ocean wave does not move from one location to another merely the energy of the wave is transported. Light waves involve only energy without matter. What was the first successful video arcade game? Pong, a simple electronic version of a tennis game, was the first successful video arcade game. Although it was first marketed in 1972, Pong was actually invented 14 years earlier in 1958 by William Higginbotham. 1910-1994, who, at the time, headed instrumentation design at Brookhaven National Laboratory. Invented to amuse visitors touring the laboratory. The game was so popular that visitors would stand in line for hours to play it. Higginbotham dismantled the system two years later, and, considering it a trifle, did not patent it. In 1972, Atari released Pong, an arcade version of Higginbotham's game. And Magnavox released Odyssey, a version that could be played on home televisions. What is the difference between RAM and ROM? Random access memory, RAM, is where programs and the systems that run the computer are stored until the CPU can access them. RAM may be read and altered by the user. In general, the more RAM, the faster the computer. RAM holds data only when the current is onto the computer. Newer computers have DDR, double data rate, memory chips. Read only memory, ROM, is memory that can be read, but not altered by the user. ROM stores information such as operating programs, even when the computer is switched off. What is a hacker? A hacker is a skilled computer user. The term originally denoted a skilled programmer. Five particularly one skilled in machine code and with a good knowledge of the machine and its operating system. The name arose from the fact that a good programmer could always hack an unsatisfactory system around until it worked. The term later came to denote a user whose main interest is in defeating secure systems. The term has thus acquired a pejorative sense, with the meaning of one who deliberately 
and sometimes criminally interferes with data available through telephone lines. The activities of such hackers have led to considerable efforts to tighten security of transmitted data. The hacker ethic is that information sharing is the proper way of human dealing, and, indeed, it is the responsibility of hackers to liberally impart their wisdom to the software world by distributing information. Many hackers are hired by companies to test their web security. What is Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi is a wireless local area network. The Wi-Fi Alliance certifies that network devices comply with the appropriate standard. IEEE 802.11 A Wi-Fi hotspot is the geographic boundary covered by a Wi-Fi access point. There were estimates that at the end of 2009 there were more than a quarter million public hotspots. What is Web 2? Web 2.0 is not a new version of the World Wide Web. But rather a collection of new technologies that changes the way users interact with the web. When Tim Berners-Lee, 1955, created the World Wide Web it was a repository of information with static content and users were generally unable to easily change or add to the content they were viewing. Newer technologies allow users to contribute to the internet with blogs, wikis, and social networking sites. A further distinction of Web 2.0 is cloud computing where data and applications apps are stored on web servers, rather than on individual computers. Allowing users to access their documents, files, and data from any computer with a web browser. Apps include many products, such as word processing and spreadsheets that were traditionally found in software packages. Who sent the first email? In the early 1970s computer engineer Ray Tomlinson, 1941. Noticed that people working at the same mainframe computer could leave one another messages. He imagined great utility of this communication system if messages could be sent to different mainframes. So he wrote a software program over the period of about a week. That used file transfer protocols and send and receive features. It enabled people to send messages from one mainframe to another over the ARPANET. The network that became the Internet. To make sure the messages went to the right system he adopted the AT symbol. Because it was the least ambiguous keyboard symbol and because it was brief. Why does the actual amount of computer storage space differ from the advertised amount of storage? Computer storage space for hard drives and other storage media is K 
calculated in base 2 using binary format with a byte as the basic unit. The common units of computer storage are, kilobyte, KB, 024 bytes megabyte, MB. 1024 kilobytes or 1,048,576 bytes gigabyte, GB, 024 megabytes or 1,073,741,824 bytes tier byte. TB, 024 gigabytes or 1,099,511,627,000 bytes however, since consumers are more familiar with the decimal. Base 10, System of Numbers, Computer Manufacturers Describe Storage Sizes in Base 10 where 1 megabyte is 1 million bytes and 1 gigabyte is 1 billion bytes. Therefore, for each gigabyte they are over-reporting storage space by 73,741,824 bytes. The concept is further complicated because some storage media may have the actual amount of advertised storage. But some of the available storage is lost due to formatting. What is the central processing unit of a computer? The central processing unit, CPU of a computer is where almost all computing takes place in all computers including mainframes, desktops, laptops, and servers. The CPU of almost every computer is contained on a single chip. What is energy? Physicists define energy as the capacity to do work. Work is defined as the force required to move an object some distance. Examples of the different kinds of energy are heat energy, light energy, mechanical energy, potential energy, and kinetic energy. The law of the conservation of energy states that within an isolated system, Energy may be transformed from one form to another, but it cannot be created nor can it be destroyed. How did a total solar eclipse confirm Einstein's theory of general relativity? When formulating his theory of general relativity, Albert Einstein proposed that the curvature of space near a massive object like the Sun would bend light that passed close by. For example, a star seen near the edge of the Sun during an eclipse would appear to have shifted by 1.75 arc seconds from its usual place. The British astronomer Arthur Eddington, 1882-1944, confirmed Einstein's hypothesis during an eclipse on May 29, 1919 The subsequent attention given to Eddington's findings helped establish Einstein's reputation as one of science's greatest figures. What were Anders Angstrom's contributions to the development of spectroscopy? Swedish physicist and astronomer Anders Jonas Angstrom, 
1814-1874, was one of the founders of spectroscopy. His early work provided the foundation for spectrum analysis. Analysis of the ranges of electromagnetic radiation emitted or absorbed. He investigated the sun spectra as well as that of the aurora borealis. In 1868, he established measurements for wavelengths of greater than 100 Fraunhofer. In 1907, the angstrom, A, equal to 1x 10 to 10 meters. A unit of wavelength measurement, was officially adopted. Who was the first person to break the sound barrier? On October 14, 1947, Charles E. Chuck, Yeager, 1923, was the first pilot to break the sound barrier. He flew a Bell X-1, attaining a speed of 750 miles, 1,207 kilometers, per hour. Mach 1.06, and an altitude of 70,140 feet, 21,379 meters, over the town of Victorville, California. The first woman to break the sound barrier was Jacqueline Cochran. C1906-1980 On May 18, 1953, she flew a North American F-86 Sabre over Edwards Air Force Base in California. Attaining the speed of 760 miles, 1,223 kilometers, per hour. What is superconductivity? Superconductivity is a condition in which many metals, alloys, organic compounds and ceramics conduct electricity without resistance, usually at low temperatures. Heike Kammerling Onus, 1853-1926, a Dutch physicist, discovered superconductivity in 1911. He was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1913 for his low-temperature studies. The modern theory regarding the phenomenon was developed by three American physicists John Bardeen, 1908-1991, Leon N. Cooper, 1930, and John Robert Schrieffer, 1931. Known as the BCS theory after the three scientists, it postulates that superconductivity occurs in certain materials because the electrons in them, rather than remaining free to collide with imperfections and scatter, form pairs that can flow easily around imperfections and do not lose their energy. Bardeen, Cooper, and Schrieffer received the Nobel Prize in Physics for their work in 1972. A further breakthrough in superconductivity was made in 1986 by J. George Bednors, 1950, and K. Alex Muller. 1927. Bednors and Muller discovered a ceramic material consisting of lanthanum, barium, copper and oxygen, which became superconductive at 35 degrees Kelvin, minus 238 degrees Celsius, much higher than any other material. Bednors and Muller won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1987. This was a significant accomplishment since
In most situations the Nobel Prize is awarded for discoveries made as many as 20 to 40 years earlier. Why was the Michelson-Morley experiment important? This experiment on light waves, first carried out in 1881 by physicists Albert A. 6 Michelson, 1852-1931, and E. W. Morley, 1838-1923, in the United States is one of the most historically significant experiments in physics and led to the development of Einstein's theory of relativity. The original experiment, using the Michelson interferometer, attempted to detect the velocity of Earth. With respect to the hypothetical luminiferous ether, a medium in space proposed to carry light waves. The procedure measured the speed of light in the direction of Earth and the speed of light at right. Angles to Earth's motion. No difference was found. This result discredited the ether theory and ultimately led to the proposal by Albert Einstein, 1879-1955, that the speed of light is a universal constant. What's the difference between a bit and a byte? Byte, a common unit of computer storage, holds the equivalent of a single character. Such as a letter, a, a number, two, a symbol, dollar, a decimal point, or a space. It is usually equivalent to 8 data bits and 1 parity bit. A bit, a binary digit, the smallest unit of information in a digital computer, is equivalent to a single zero or one. The parity bit is used to check for errors in the bits making up the byte. 8 data bits per byte is the most common size used by computer manufacturers. How is the speed of a CPU measured? Separate from the real-time clock which keeps track of the time of day. The CPU clock sets the tempo for the processor and measures the transmission speed of electronic devices. The clock is used to synchronize data pulses between sender and receiver. A 1 MHz clock manipulates a set number of bits 1 million times per second. In general, the higher the clock speed, the quicker data is processed. However, newer versions of software often require quicker computers just to maintain their overall processing speed. The Hertz is named in honor of Heinrich Hertz, 1857-1894, who detected electromagnetic waves in 1883. 1. Hertz is equal to the number of electromagnetic waves or cycles in a signal that is one cycle per second. Does sound travel faster in air or water? The speed of sound is not a constant, it varies depending on the medium in which it travels. The measurement of sound velocity in the medium of air must take into account many factors. 
including air temperature, pressure, and purity. At sea level and 32 degrees Fahrenheit 0 degrees Celsius, scientists do not agree on a standard figure. Estimates range from 740 to 741.5 miles, 1191.6 to 1193.2 kilometers per hour. As air temperature rises, sound velocity increases. Sound travels faster in water than in air and even faster in iron and steel. Sounds traveling a mile in air for 5 seconds will travel the same. Distance in one second underwater and one third of a second in steel. What was the Turk? The Turk was the name for a famous chess playing automaton. An automaton, such as a robot, is a mechanical figure constructed to act as if it moves by its own power. On a dare in 1770, a civil servant in the Vienna Imperial Court named Wolfgang von Kempelen. 1734-1804, created a chess playing machine. This mustached, man-sized figure carved from wood wore a turban, trousers, and robe, and sat behind a desk. In one hand it held a long Turkish pipe, implying that it had just finished a pre-game smoke. And its innards were filled with gears, pulleys, and cams. The machine seemed a keen. Chess player and dumbfounded onlookers by defeating all the best human chess players. It was a farce, however, its moves were surreptitiously made by a man hiding inside. The Turk, so dubbed because of the outfit similar to traditional Turkish garb, is regarded as a forerunner to the Industrial Revolution because it created a commotion over devices that could complete complex tasks. Historians argue that it inspired people to invent other early devices such as the power loom and the telephone. And it even was a precursor to concepts such as artificial intelligence and computerization. Today, however, Computer chess games are so sophisticated that they can defeat even the world's best chess masters. In May 1997, the Deep Blue Chess Computer defeated world champion Garry Kasparov, 1963. Deep Blue was a 32 node IBM R6000 SP high performance. Computer that used Power 2 Super Chip Processors, P2SC. Each node had a single microchannel card containing 8 dedicated VLSI. Chess processors for a total of 256 processors working in tandem. Allowing Deep Blue to calculate 100 to 200 billion chess moves within 3 minutes. What is the difference between special and general relativity? Albert Einstein developed the theory of relativity in the early 20th century. He published the theory of special relativity in 1905 and the theory of general relativity in 1916. Special relativity deals only with non-accelerating, inertial, reference frames. General relativity deals with accelerating, non-inertial, reference frames. 
Simply stated, according to the theory of special relativity, the laws of nature are the same for all observers whose frames of reference are moving with constant velocity with respect to each other. Published as an addenda to the special theory of relativity was the famous equation. E equals mc2, representing that mass and energy can be transformed into each other. In contrast, general relativity states that the laws of nature are the same. For all observers even if they are accelerating with respect to each other. When was the term Web 2 first used? The term Web 2.0 was first used in 2004 during a brainstorming conference between Tim O'Reilly. 1954, of O'Reilly Media and Media Live International. Rather than believing as some had that the web had crashed following the dot. Com collapse, it was a turning point for the web to become a platform for collaborative effort between internet users, providers, and enterprises. What are some examples of user-generated content on the World Wide Web? Blogs short for web logs, are akin to modern-day diaries. Or logs, of thoughts and activities of the author. In the late 1990s software became available to create blogs using templates. Therefore making them accessible to a wide audience as a publishing tool. Blogs may be created by single individuals or by groups of contributors. Blog entries are organized in reverse chronological order with the most recent entries. Being seen first. Entries may include text, audio, images, video, and links to other sites. Blog authors may invite reader feedback via comments which allows for dialogue between blog authors and readers. However, once posted, blog entries may not be edited. Wikis, from the Hawaiian word wiki wiki, which means fast. Are web pages that allow users to add and edit material in a collaborative fashion. The first wikis were developed in the mid-1990s by Ward Cunningham. 1949, as a way for users to quickly add content to web pages. The advantage of this software was that the users did not need to know complicated languages to add material to the web. One of the best known wikis is Wikipedia an online, collaborative encyclopedia. Although entries to Wikipedia need to come from published sources and be based on fact. Rather than the writer's opinion, there is no overall editorial authority on the site. Podcasts are broadcast media that may be created by anyone and are available on demand. Unlike traditional broadcast media, radio and television. Podcasts are easily created with a microphone, video camera, computer, and connection to the web. Podcasting does not require sophisticated recording or transmitting equipment. 
Most podcasts are broadcast on a weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly schedule. While traditional broadcast media follow a set schedule. Podcasts may be downloaded onto a computer or a portable device such as a MP3 player and listened to whenever it is convenient. What are the two forms of energy? The two forms of energy are kinetic energy and potential energy. Kinetic energy is the energy possessed by an object as a result of its motion while Potential energy is the energy possessed by an object as a result of its position. As an example, a ball sitting on top of a fence has potential energy. When the ball falls off the fence it has kinetic energy. The potential energy is transformed into kinetic energy. What are the components of a computer? Computers have two major components, the hardware and the software. Hardware consists of all the physical devices needed to actually build and operate a computer. Examples of computer hardware are the central processing unit, CPU. Hard drive, memory, modems, and external devices such as the keyboard, monitor. Printers, scanners, and other devices that can be physically touched. Software is an integral part of a computer and consists of the various computer programs that allow the user to interact with it and specify the tasks the computer performs. Without software, a computer is merely a collection of circuits and metal in a box unable to perform even the most basic functions. What is the Doppler effect? The Austrian physicist Christian Doppler 1803-1853, in 1842 explained the phenomenon of the apparent change in wavelength of radiation such as sound or light emitted either by a moving body, source, or by the moving receiver. The frequency of the wavelengths increases and the wavelength becomes shorter as the moving source approaches. Producing high-pitched sounds and bluish light, called blue shift. Likewise, as the source recedes from the receiver the frequency of the wavelength 6 decreases. The sound is pitched lower, and light appears reddish, called redshift. This Doppler effect is commonly demonstrated by the whistle of an approaching train or the roar of a jet aircraft. There are three differences between acoustical, sound, and optical, light, Doppler effects. The optical frequency change is not dependent on what is moving the source or observer nor is it affected by the medium through which the waves are moving, but acoustical frequency is affected by such conditions. Optical frequency changes are affected if the source or observer moves at right angles to the line connecting the source and observer. Observed acoustical changes are not affected in such a situation. Applications of the Doppler phenomenon include the Doppler radar and the 
Measurement by astronomers of the motion and direction of celestial bodies. What is the Doppler effect? The Austrian physicist Christian Doppler 1803 to 1853 in 1842 explained the phenomenon of the apparent change in wavelength of radiation such as sound or light emitted either by a moving body source or by the moving receiver the frequency of the wavelengths increases and the wavelength becomes shorter as the moving source approaches producing high-pitched sounds and bluish light called blue shift likewise as the source recedes from the receiver the frequency of the wavelength 6 decreases the sound is pitched lower, and light appears reddish, called redshift. This Doppler effect is commonly demonstrated by the whistle of an approaching train or the roar of a jet aircraft. There are three differences between acoustical, sound, and optical, light, Doppler effects. The optical frequency change is not dependent on what is moving the source or observer nor is it affected by the medium through which the waves are moving, but acoustical frequency is affected by such conditions. Optical frequency changes are affected if the source or observer moves at right angles to the line connecting the source and observer. Observed acoustical changes are not affected in such a situation. Applications of the Doppler phenomenon include the Doppler radar and the measurement by astronomers of the motion and direction of celestial bodies. Do you really hear the ocean when you hold a seashell to your ear? Although the sounds heard in a seashell are reminiscent of hearing the ocean, in reality they are ambient. Soft sounds that have been resonated and thereby amplified by the seashell's cavity. The extreme sensitivity of the human ear to sound is illustrated by the seashell resonance effect. Do you really hear the ocean when you hold a seashell to your ear? Although the sounds heard in a seashell are reminiscent of hearing the ocean, in reality they are ambient. Soft sounds that have been resonated and thereby amplified by the seashell's cavity. The extreme sensitivity of the human ear to sound is illustrated by the seashell resonance effect. What are the characteristics of alpha, beta, and gamma radiation? Radiation is a term that describes all the ways energy is emitted by the atom as X-rays. Gamma rays, neutrons, or as charged particles. Most atoms, being stable, are non-radioactive. Others are unstable and give off either particles or gamma radiation. Substances bombarded by radioactive particles can become radioactive and yield alpha particles, beta particles, and gamma rays. 
Alpha particles, first identified by Antoine Henri Becquerel, 1852 to 1908. Have a positive electrical charge and consist of two protons and two neutrons. Because of their great mass, alpha particles can travel only a short distance. Around 2 inches, 5 centimeters, in air, and can be stopped by a sheet of paper. Beta particles, identified by Ernest Rutherford, 1871 to 1937. Are extremely high speed electrons that move at the speed of light. They can travel far in air and can pass through solid matter several millimeters thick. Gamma rays, identified by Marie, 1867 to 1934, and Pierre Curie, 1859 to 1906. Are similar to X-rays, but they usually have a shorter wavelength. These rays, which are bursts of photons, or very short-wave electromagnetic radiation, travel at the speed of light. They are much more penetrating than either the alpha or beta particles and can go through 7 inches, 18 centimeters, of lead. What are the characteristics of alpha, beta, and gamma radiation? Radiation is a term that describes all the ways energy is emitted by the atom as X-rays. Gamma rays, neutrons, or as charged particles. Most atoms, being stable, are non-radioactive. Others are unstable and give off either particles or gamma radiation. Substances bombarded by radioactive particles can become radioactive and yield alpha particles, beta particles, and gamma rays. Alpha particles, first identified by Antoine Henri Becquerel, 1852 to 1908, have a positive electrical charge and consist of two protons and two neutrons. Because of their great mass, alpha particles can travel only a short distance. Around 2 inches, 5 centimeters, in air, and can be stopped by a sheet of paper. Beta particles, identified by Ernest Rutherford, 1871 to 1937. Are extremely high speed electrons that move at the speed of light. They can travel far in air and can pass through solid matter several millimeters thick. Gamma rays, identified by Marie, 1867 to 1934, and Pierre Curie, 1859 to 1906. Are similar to X-rays, but they usually have a shorter wavelength. These rays, which are bursts of photons or very short-wave electromagnetic radiation, travel at the speed of light. They are much more penetrating than either the alpha or beta particles and can go through 7 inches, 18 centimeters, of lead. Who is the founder of the science of magnetism? The English scientist William Gilbert, 1544-1603 Regarded Earth as a giant magnet and investigated its magnetic field in terms of dip and variation.
he explored many other magnetic and electrostatic phenomena. The Gilbert, GB, a unit of magnetism, is named for him. John H. Van Vleck, 1899-1980 An American physicist, made significant contributions to modern magnetic theory. He explained the magnetic, electrical, and optical properties of many elements and compounds with the ligand field theory. Demonstrated the effect of temperature on paramagnetic materials. Called Van Vleck paramagnetism, and developed a theory on the magnetic properties of atoms and their components. Who is the founder of the science of magnetism? The English scientist William Gilbert, 1544-1603 Regarded Earth as a giant magnet and investigated its magnetic field in terms of dip and variation. He explored many other magnetic and electrostatic phenomena. The Gilbert, GB, a unit of magnetism, is named for him. John H. Van Vleck, 1899-1980 An American physicist, made significant contributions to modern magnetic theory. He explained the magnetic, electrical, and optical properties of many elements and compounds with the ligand field theory. Demonstrated the effect of temperature on paramagnetic materials. Called Van Vleck paramagnetism, and developed a theory on the magnetic properties of atoms and their components. What is a Leyden jar? A Leyden jar, the earliest form of capacitor, is a device for storing an electrical charge. First described in 1745 by E. George Van Kleist, c. 1700-1748. It was also used by Peter van Muschenbroek, 1692-1761, a professor of physics at the University of Leiden. The device came to be known as a Leiden jar and was the first device that could store large amounts of electric charge. The jars contained an inner wire electrode in contact with water, mercury, or wire. The outer electrode was a human hand holding the jar. An improved version coated the jar inside and outside with separate metal foils with the inner foil connected to a conducting rod and terminated in a conducting sphere. This eliminated the need for the liquid electrolyte. In use, the jar was normally charged from an electrostatic generator. The Leiden jar which makes the hair stand up is still used for classroom demonstrations of static electricity. What is a Leiden jar? A Leiden jar, the earliest form of capacitor, is a device for storing an electrical charge. First described in 1745 by E. George Van Kleist, c. 1700-1748. It was also used by Peter Van Muschenbroek, 1692-1761, a professor of physics at the University of Leiden. 
the device came to be known as a Leiden jar and was the first device that could store large amounts of electric charge. The jars contained an inner wire electrode in contact with water, mercury, or wire. The outer electrode was a human hand holding the jar. An improved version coated the jar inside and outside with separate metal foils with the inner foil connected to a conducting rod and terminated in a conducting sphere. This eliminated the need for the liquid electrolyte. In use, the jar was normally charged from an electrostatic generator. The Leiden jar which makes the hair stand up is still used for classroom demonstrations of static electricity. How does an electromagnet work? Danish physicist Hans Christian Ørsted, 1777-1851 was the first to observe a connection between electricity and magnetism. He found that a current in a wire caused a nearby compass needle to rotate thereby. Establishing that an electric current always produces a magnetic field around itself. When an electric current flows through a wire wrapped around a piece of iron. It creates a magnetic field in the iron. Electromagnets are used in a wide variety of applications, including doorbells, switches, and valves in heating and cooling equipment to telephones. Large machinery used to lift heavy loads of scrap metal, and particle accelerators. How does an electromagnet work? Danish physicist Hans Christian Ørsted, 1777-1851 was the first to observe a connection between electricity and magnetism. He found that a current in a wire caused a nearby compass needle to rotate thereby. Establishing that an electric current always produces a magnetic field around itself. When an electric current flows through a wire wrapped around a piece of iron. It creates a magnetic field in the iron. Electromagnets are used in a wide variety of applications, including doorbells, switches, and valves in heating and cooling equipment to telephones. Large machinery used to lift heavy loads of scrap metal, and particle accelerators. If a magnetic bar is cut in two, will it yield a North Pole and a South Pole magnet? Every magnet contains both a North Pole and a South Pole. There are no magnets which are purely North or South. Cutting a magnetic bar in half will produce two magnets each with a north pole and a south pole. If a magnetic bar is cut in two, will it yield a north pole and a south pole magnet? Every magnet contains both a North Pole and a South Pole. 
there are no magnets which are purely north or south. Cutting a magnetic bar in half will produce two magnets each with a north pole and a south pole. How do permanent magnets differ from temporary magnets? Permanent magnets, also referred to as naturally occurring magnets, remain magnetized until they are demagnetized. Naturally occurring magnets are found in minerals such as magnetite and lodestone. These magnets are known as ferromagnets. How do permanent magnets differ from temporary magnets? Permanent magnets, also referred to as naturally occurring magnets, remain magnetized until they are demagnetized. Naturally occurring magnets are found in minerals such as magnetite and lodestone. These magnets are known as ferromagnets. What materials are used to make the most powerful permanent magnets? The most powerful permanent magnets are made from alloys of iron, boron, and neodymium. Magnetic strength is measured in units called Tesla and Gauss. One Tesla equals ten. 000 Gauss. Most of the magnets used to decorate the refrigerator are 10 Gauss. The most powerful permanent magnets produce magnetic fields of approximately 1.5 Tesla. What materials are used to make the most powerful permanent magnets? The most powerful permanent magnets are made from alloys of iron, boron, and neodymium. Magnetic strength is measured in units called Tesla and Gauss. One Tesla equals ten. Zero 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 Gauss. Most of the magnets used to decorate the refrigerator are ten Gauss. The most powerful permanent magnets produce magnetic fields of approximately 1.5 Tesla. Why is static electricity greater in winter than summer? Static electricity results from an imbalance between negative and positive charges in an object. Most of the time the positive and negative charges in an object are balanced. Meaning the object is neutral, it is neither positively nor negatively charged. When the charges build up on an object, they must find a way to be released or transferred to restore the balance between negative and positive charges. During the winter, the air has very little water vapor in it and is dry. In the summer, the air contains more water vapor, the humidity is greater. Water is an electrical conductor allowing electrons to move from one object to another more easily. 
the humidity in the summer air allows extra electrons on charged objects to leak off into the air and attach to objects that have too few electrons. The dry air in the winter makes it more difficult for the extra electrons to leak off six an object so static electricity. With its characteristic shock or spark, is more common. Why is static electricity greater in winter than summer? Static electricity results from an imbalance between negative and positive charges in an object. Most of the time the positive and negative charges in an object are balanced. Meaning the object is neutral, it is neither positively nor negatively charged. When the charges build up on an object, they must find a way to be released or transferred to restore the balance between negative and positive charges. During the winter, the air has very little water vapor in it and is dry. In the summer, the air contains more water vapor, the humidity is greater. Water is an electrical conductor allowing electrons to move from one object to another more easily. The humidity in the summer air allows extra electrons on charged objects to leak off into the air and attach to objects that have too few electrons. The dry air in the winter makes it more difficult for the extra electrons to leak off six an object so static electricity. With its characteristic shock or spark, is more common. How did the electrical term ampere originate? It was named for André Marie Ampere, 1775 to 1836. The physicist who formulated the basic laws of the science of electrodynamics. The ampere, a often abbreviated as AMP, is the unit of electric current. Defined at the constant current, that, maintained in two straight parallel infinite conductors placed one meter apart in a vacuum, would produce a force between the conductors of 2x10 to 7 newton per meter. For example, the amount of current flowing through a 100 watt light bulb is 1 AMP. Through a toaster, 10 amps, a TV set, 3 amps, a car battery, 50 amps, while cranking. A newton, N, is defined as a unit of force needed to accelerate. 1 kilogram by 1 meter second 2, or 1 N equals 1, kg xm, slash S2. How did the electrical term ampere originate? It was named for André Marie Ampere, 1775 to 1836. The physicist who formulated the basic laws of the science of electrodynamics. The ampere, a often abbreviated as AMP, is the unit of electric current. Defined at the constant current, that, maintained in two straight parallel infinite conductors placed one meter apart in a vacuum, would produce a force between the conductors of 2x10 to 7 newton per meter. For example, 
the amount of current flowing through a 100 watt light bulb is 1 amp. Through a toaster, 10 amps, a TV set, 3 amps, a car battery, 50 amps, while cranking. A newton, N, is defined as a unit of force needed to accelerate. 1 kilogram by 1 meter second 2, or 1 N equals 1, kg xm, slash s2. How did the electrical unit volt originate? The unit of voltage is the volt, named after Alessandro Volta. 1745 to 1827, the Italian scientist who built the first modern battery. A battery, operating with a lead rod and vinegar, was also manufactured in ancient Egypt. Voltage measures the force or oomph with which electrical charges are pushed through a material. Some common voltages are 1.5 volts for a flashlight battery, 12 volts for a car battery. 115 volts for ordinary household receptacles, and 230 volts for a heavy-duty household receptacle. How did the electrical unit volt originate? The unit of voltage is the volt, named after Alessandro Volta. 1745-1827, the Italian scientist who built the first modern battery. A battery, operating with a lead rod and vinegar, was also manufactured in ancient Egypt. Voltage measures the force or oomph with which electrical charges are pushed through a material. Some common voltages are 1.5 volts for a flashlight battery, 12 volts for a car battery. 115 volts for ordinary household receptacles, and 230 volts for a heavy-duty household receptacle. Who invented the computer mouse? A computer mouse is a handheld input device that, when rolled across a flat surface, causes a cursor to move in a corresponding way on a display screen. A prototype mouse was part of an input console demonstrated by Douglas C. Engelhardt, 1925, in 1968 at the Fall Joint Computer Conference in San Francisco. Popularized in 1984 by the Macintosh from Apple Computer, the mouse was the result of 15 years. Devoted to exploring ways to make communicating with computers simpler and more flexible. The physical appearance of the small box with the dangling, tail-like wire suggested the name of mouse. In recent years, the mouse has evolved into other shapes and forms. One type is the wireless or tailless mouse which does not have a cord to connect to the computer. Wireless mice use radio signals or infrared to connect to the computer. When was Java developed? Java was released by Sun Microsystems in 1995.
a team of developers headed by James Gosling. 1955, began working on a refinement of C++ that ultimately led to Java. Unlike other computer languages, which are either compiled or interpreted. Java compiles the source code into a format called bytecode. The bytecode is then executed by an interpreter. Java was adapted to the emerging World Wide Web and formed the basis of the Netscape Internet Browser. What are the characteristics of alpha, beta, and gamma radiation? Radiation is a term that describes all the ways energy is emitted by the atom as X-rays. Gamma rays, neutrons, or as charged particles. Most atoms, being stable, are non-radioactive. Others are unstable and give off either particles or gamma radiation. Substances bombarded by radioactive particles can become radioactive and yield alpha particles, beta particles, and gamma rays. Alpha particles, first identified by Antoine Henri Becquerel, 1852-1908 have a positive electrical charge and consist of two protons and two neutrons. Because of their great mass, alpha particles can travel only a short distance. Around 2 inches, 5 centimeters, in air, and can be stopped by a sheet of paper. Beta particles, identified by Ernest Rutherford, 1871-1937, are extremely high-speed electrons that move at the speed of light. They can travel far in air and can pass through solid matter several millimeters thick. Gamma rays, identified by Marie, 1867-1934, and Pierre Curie, 1859-1906, are similar to X-rays, but they usually have a shorter wavelength. These rays, which are bursts of photons, or very short-wave electromagnetic radiation, travel at the speed of light. They are much more penetrating than either the alpha or beta particles and can go through 7 inches, 18 centimeters, of lead. What is friction? Friction is defined as the force that resists motion when the surface of one object slides over or comes in contact with the surface of another object. The three laws that govern the friction of an object at rest and the surface with which it is in contact state. Friction is proportional to the weight of an object. Friction is not determined by the surface area of the object. Friction is independent of the speed at which an object is moving along a surface provided the speed is not zero. Although friction reduces the efficiency of machines and opposes movement, it is an essential force. Without friction it would be impossible to walk, drive a car, or even strike a match. What are some practical applications of superconductivity?
A variety of uses have been proposed for superconductivity in fields as diverse as electronics. Transportation, and power Research continues to develop more powerful, more efficient electric motors and devices that measure extremely small magnetic fields for medical diagnosis. The field of electric power transmission has much to gain by developing superconducting materials since 15% of the electricity generated must be used to overcome the resistance of traditional copper wire. More powerful electromagnets will be utilized to build high-speed magnetically levitated trains, known as maglovs. What is the Doppler effect? The Austrian physicist Christian Doppler 1803-1853, in 1842 explained the phenomenon of the apparent change in wavelength of radiation such as sound or light emitted either by a moving body, source, or by the moving receiver. The frequency of the wavelengths increases and the wavelength becomes shorter as the moving source approaches. Producing high-pitched sounds and bluish light, called blue shift. Likewise, as the source recedes from the receiver the frequency of the wavelength 6 decreases. The sound is pitched lower, and light appears reddish, called red shift. This Doppler effect is commonly demonstrated by the whistle of an approaching train or the roar of a jet aircraft. There are three differences between acoustical, sound, and optical, light, Doppler effects. The optical frequency change is not dependent on what is moving the source or observer nor is it affected by the medium through which the waves are moving, but acoustical frequency is affected by such conditions. Optical frequency changes are affected if the source or observer moves at right angles to the line connecting the source and observer. Observed acoustical changes are not affected in such a situation. Applications of the Doppler phenomenon include the Doppler radar and the measurement by astronomers of the motion and direction of celestial bodies. Who successfully demonstrated that curved balls actually curve? In 1959, Lyman Briggs, 1874-1963, demonstrated that a ball can curve up to 17.5 inches, 44.45 centimeters. Over the 60 feet 6 inches, 18.4 meters, it travels between a pitcher and a batter. Ending the debate of whether curved balls actually curved or if the apparent change in course was merely an optical illusion. Briggs studied the effect of spin and speed on the trajectory and established the relationship between amount of curvature and the spin of the ball. A rapidly spinning baseball experiences two lift forces that cause it to curve in flight. One is the Magnus force named after H.G. Magnus, 1802-1870. The German physicist who discovered it, and the other is the wake deflection force. The Magnus force causes the curved ball to move sideways because 
the pressure forces on the ball sides do not balance each other. The stitches on a baseball cause the pressure on one side of the ball to be less than on its opposite side. This forces the ball to move faster on one side than the other and forces the ball to curve. The wake deflection force also causes the ball to curve to one side. It occurs because the air flowing around the ball in the direction of its rotation remains attached to the ball longer and the ball's wake is deflected. What is Maxwell's demon? An imaginary creature who, by opening and shutting a tiny door between two volumes of gases, could, in principle, concentrate slower molecules in one, making it colder and faster molecules in the other, making it hotter, thus breaking the second law of their five mo dynamics. Essentially this law states that heat does not naturally flow from a colder body to a hotter body. Work must be expended to make it do so. This hypothesis was formulated in 1871 by James C. Maxwell, 1831-1879, who is considered by many to be the greatest theoretical physicist of the 19th century. The demon would bring about an effective flow of molecular kinetic energy. This excess energy would be useful to perform work and the system would be a perpetual motion machine. About 1950, the French physicist Leon Brillouin, 1889-1969, disproved Maxwell's hypothesis by demonstrating that the decrease in entropy resulting from the demon's actions would be exceeded by the increase in entropy in choosing between the fast and slow molecules. What is the speed of light? Light travels at 186,282 miles, 299,792 kilometers, per second or 12 million miles per minute. Do you really hear the ocean when you hold a seashell to your ear? Although the sounds heard in a seashell are reminiscent of hearing the ocean, in reality they are ambient. Soft sounds that have been resonated and thereby amplified by the seashell's cavity. The extreme sensitivity of the human ear to sound is illustrated by the seashell resonance effect. Who invented the COBOL computer language? COBOL Common business-oriented language, is a prominent computer language designed specifically for commercial uses. Created in 1960 by a team drawn from several computer makers and the Pentagon. The best known individual associated with COBOL was then Lt. Grace Murray Hopper who made fundamental contributions to the U.S. Navy's standardization of COBOL. COBOL excels at the most common 
kinds of data processing for business simple arithmetic operations performed on huge files of data. The language endures because its syntax is very much like English and because a program written in COBOL for one kind of computer can run on many others without alteration. Why is a lubricant, such as oil, often used to counter the force of friction? Lubricants, such as oil, are used to reduce friction. For example, in machines consisting of metal parts. The continuous rubbing of the parts together increases the temperature and creates heat. To prevent serious wear and damage to the machines, grease and oil are applied to reduce the friction. What were floppy disks? The first floppy disk drive was invented by Alan Shugart, 1930-2006, in 1967 at IBM. Floppy disks, also called diskettes, were made of plastic film covered with a magnetic coating, which were enclosed in a non-removable plastic protective envelope. Floppy disks varied in storage capacity from 100,000 bytes to more than 2 megabytes. The three common floppy disk, diskette, sizes varied widely in storage capacity. An 8-inch or 5.25-inch diskette was enclosed in a plastic protective envelope, which did not protect the disk from bending or folding, parts of the disk surface were also exposed and could be contaminated by fingerprints or dust. These diskettes became known as floppy disks because the packaging of the 5.25 inch disk was a very flexible plastic envelope. The casing on a 3.5 inch floppy disk was rigid plastic and included a sliding disc guard that protected the disc surface but allowed it to be exposed when the disc was inserted in the disc drive. This protection, along with the increased data storage capacity, made the 3.5 inch disc the most popular. Zip, R, discs were very similar to floppy disks but the magnetic coating was of much higher quality. They were able to store up to 750 megabytes of data. By the mid-1990s, floppy disks and zip R disks had become obsolete as computer files and memory. Required larger storage and computers were no longer being manufactured with floppy disk drives. These disks can still be accessed by using an external 4-floppy drive reader with a USB connection. <laughs>